Good morning. This is Sally Journey's Quilt, podcast number four, um, July 6th, 2019. I'm very happy to be back with all of you and to new people that are tuning in, welcome. I, this is, you know, another exciting, I'm very excited to be here today. This is going to be my podcast celebrating my 70th birthday. Um, oh, I don't know why, but it has just been a really big birthday for me. And I'm... Well, because well, you're I 70. Know, because I'm 70. <laughs> and that my daughter, Jackie... Of, I'm in the background. Yes, Caddy Jacks Knits is in the background helping me, and, and uh, I appreciate that. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give you guys like a rundown of you know what's been happening since the last podcast and this is your fourth this is my fourth podcast mm -hmm. and I had been um, sharing many of my past quilts with you and I think last time we were talking about Heron and his my grandson who was just turned 18 graduated from high school so we've had the big graduation celebration since then which was beautiful went well um, we've had the end of the school year, so... I think people want to know about what you're wearing. Oh, what I am I'm wearing. I'm sorry, that's yeah. what I'm looking at and wondering about. Okay. This is Happy Birthday sweater from Jackie. It is plum, and... It's by Junko Unkomoto. Junko Unkomoto, and I'm not quite sure it's what kind of yarn this Labia is. Labia and Oh, La Bienne May. The Modine collaboration with Rosa Pomar. Yes, and it's, I love it. It's, you know, you can't really tell. Maybe I can just stand oh, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. look how cute you are. And then we twirl around once so they can I see the cute. Oh, good. But anyway, okay. I'll knock my okay. chair over. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Um, but anyway, this was uh, just so exciting. Jackie had made this because she was drawn to this pattern and this yarn and she really it's a one size fits all so it was kind of like when it got done everybody started trying it on and it looks different on everybody mm -hmm. and I hadn't really thought about it because I never think of wearing any sweater that Jackie makes for herself because we're such different sizes but the next morning I came out and I just said to her oh could I try that sweater on and I did, and I loved it, and she said, Mom, it just is made for you, so it is yours. And that's the best kind of gift as far as I'm concerned, because it doesn't have any, like, angst of will she like it, will yeah. it fit, will it, you know, it was just, it was meant to be. And I, abs you know, the fact that I'm podcasting on July 6th, and the temperature is such that I can wear this with the overhead fan. I mean, you know, we couldn't have done this two days ago. No, it's lovely, and I can wear it too, but I think your chest shows off. Yeah, you would had to have some lace volume. and color work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, oh, I love it. I love it. It's going to be one of the most beautiful sweaters to wear in the fall. I'll feel like, you know, I mean, I just, I, every time I put it on, I just feel like a queen. So that's very exciting. But I did. I had the most wonderful birthday. I celebrated the entire month. I had um, the month of June. The month of June, because my birthday is June third. Um, my daughters always tell me, "Mom, we love you, but there's no way we can give you any kind of celebration until after school's over, because they're both educators and it's the busiest time of the year." But somehow they both decided, and I don't even remember exactly what happened, but they decided this was too important, so they gave me a birthday, or a birthday party, and. I loved it. I had uh, just wonderful, loving people there. They did a circle of, you know, talking about what I had meant to them, stories about me in their lifetime. These were people that I, many of them I'd known for years and years and years. So Ritual. A ritual. It was awesome. It was delightful. I was like a little girl. I never expected to get any presents, and I just, you know, I had this whole package, you know, this little packages, and... Oh, it was exciting. So anyway, thank you for all those that were there, and you'll know who you were, and just the who couldn't be there. That you know, I felt all of your love that day. And your words of wisdom on being seventy to the rest of us. 
I think the most important thing is to do what you can do to stay healthy and happy, to stay young in your mind, to stay active, stay um, curious, stay interested, and just keep being with people, you know, keep being with people that you love and finding new people, which, you know, this year I have through our knitting group, you know, I've met new people and that's been wonderful. Um, so now I'm at the point, I can't even remember, I mean, I like the culmination for me is I decided to um, get myself the hammock of my dreams that I've always wanted. And it's called Fat Boy Hammocks for any of you that are familiar with it. And that's simply because it is the company, you know, it's a very generous, wonderful hammock. And so I have that out under the oak tree in my backyard. It'll be a perfect day for it when you're done. Podcasting. Yes, I think I have my eldest daughter is out in it now. Mm. Yeah, it is just beautiful. So anyway, so that I did that. I planted trees and shrubs. Um, you know, I had this wonderful Brent, Brett Valentine and Hartwood trees come and plant trees and shrubs. I, you know, I'm saving my back. I wasn't going to do that kind of stuff. But it has been a renewal of gardening for me. Um, I have just been, I don't know, I've been feeling very happy. I love trees and shrubs. They're like puppies to me. So, you know, for anybody that knows me. Well, what kind of, po it's a quilting podcast. Oh, though, quilting. And quilting and knitting. So, but she's but got. Mostly she, quilting. Okay, but she's got some yarn in her hands. Yes. Okay, so I, in the past couple, since the last podcast, I had done lots of things over the winter and then the the season of quilting tends to be um once everybody gets out of school it's harder for me to spend time up here sewing mm -hmm. and i also got hooked into the knitting um world. spin cycle spin cycle specifically dream state um i don't know if these are these are just my latest um dream state spin cycle they are one of a kind, I mean, they dye these, they're all, you know, I mean, one, like, that color is called nostalgia, and each skein of nostalgia is different from the other. It's is this the, the one color. that's gone? Um, yeah, that is. That's the one, what was that called, A Dirty Little Secret? I think it is. I love that. that but anyway, for the quilter in me... Oh, I will let you speak, I'm just showing you. Yeah, you can show some of the yarns. I have Which one's there. this? I love this one. Um, I want this. That one, I think, is the, that's the robin's yeah. egg. That's oh, the, it's so beautiful. Yeah, because it's like, and this is the other robin's egg, so you can see how they're dyed with the, you know, they're totally different, but, you know, obviously it's the same colors, but. Um, Sorry. Okay. I'm yeah, no, it just goes on and on. And what I did was I was drawn to this pattern by Andrea Mowry. And it's called the night shift shawl. And it's, what do you call that, mosaic knitting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I struggled with it. I had, I mean, I loved it because what happens with these yarns, what these are designed for, in this pattern of the, I guess you can see it mostly here, the base is all the skein of yarn that goes up through here and then you're adding a, so it's two colors basically are going through here and you see how they change as they go through so it's very you have no control over it really it just kind of it flows and then go like it's sort of a a discovery as you go which I love it's very That's exciting very it's, it's a very it's like you're making a fabric and in this entire um, shawl, it can go from, you know, one lovely fabric to another. And I mean, God, it's gorgeous. I mean, she- Way wrap it around your front. Don't go back. Yeah, like She that. made an absolutely gorgeous pattern. There's no question about it. But for me, That's not how, I would how would you, well, no, I just so put it on there. This isn't, it's I'm, designed yeah. to go like this and then Thank you bring you. it see so, and can you imagine this in the fall oh. this is going to be like just i mean i wore i have to say i wore this shawl down to the lake today to sit and have coffee by the you know the lakeside 
because it was chilly enough on her back porch that I thought, oh, it's my little t-shirt, I'm going to just wear this. And it was a little too hot once I get down there, but, you know, I can see as the weather starts to cool, mm -hmm. this will be my go-to just mm -hmm. luxurious wrap around me. It's a little small for me to feel, total wrappage. I'm just going to ask you a question. Would you mm -hmm. ever put tassels on it? Because that helps with the wrapping on um, three corners. I it's, think that would be yeah, fun. I could try because I mean I got I have several you know like what I'm waiting for now is I have like this basket of you know just would make good tassels. Just absolutely gorgeous leftovers. Plus I got a couple skeins. What what happens with dream with the spin cycle yarns for those of you that are in the quilting world and you don't know about this? Um, they only do a certain number of these, you know, like they probably, what, 40 to 80 skeins or something at a time. I think it's probably 80. And then they put it up on their site or they sell them to the shops, you know, that buy them. But they sell out. You know, like if Andrea Mowry comes up with a pattern like she did with this new shawl, and it comes in two different weights, so there's another one called Dyed in the Most Wool. Most of her patterns seem to be in Dyed in the Wool these days. Yeah, Dyed in the Wool, which is a little bit lighter. Yeah, lighter. sport weight. Yeah. But anyway, what happens is, across the country, and the world probably, people just go, oh my god, I love that color. And so this color, if she puts it up, this Nostalgia, for instance, I think it's still on her site right now, or their site, it can just get sold out, you know. And then, you know, you can't really get it again. And so it kind of makes that collecting kind of an exciting process. Um, it's a little too hot to be double wrapped. But anyway, the whole thing is, is I am loving this pattern. And what, when I was making this one, I didn't know what I was doing. So I just, you know, I struggled because I kept trying to knit it, read the written pattern, knit, read the, I mean, I don't know how many times I took this out, you know, and went back because I would, if you get the, Right. Oh my gosh. Should yeah. I come in with it on? You can come in okay? with it on. Yeah, it's okay. This is another dream state. Oh. I'm, I'm just showing how, Yeah. you know, the color changes. It's cool. And that's called Steady... Stay something. Ready. Stay Ready. Stay yeah. Ready. Mm -hmm. And that, isn't yeah. that gorgeous? Sorry. Well, no, <laughs> you're talking about. Do not apologize about showing beautiful things. But like, lots of people have done the Stay Ready with, with yeah. instead of... I'm sorry, the koivu. With just the one, you know, you have a background. One color and it doesn't and have to be stay ready. But yeah. the color changes. The color changes and it's just fascinating. But anyway, so these are, I mean, I will warn you, if you're like me, these become addictive. Because they're just, it's it's like, you know, like a Color look, candy. Right? I don't know, I'll show that in a minute, what's happening over here. Because, oh. you know, we can't, I mean, I'll get to that. I don't want to distract because okay. I want to show the other okay. one. But I have something to share with you about that. Anyway, so I have been in the, I have been just knitting. And once I got about halfway through the shawl, I realized I do not have to read the paper pattern. It's better for me if I follow my knitting. You know, it's kind of like if you know what a moss stitch is, you always can look down at your knitting because it's pearl, knit, pearl, and then your, the next row is just the opposite. Well, it's kind of like that with this. Once you get the pattern down, but it, you know, it took me a long time. But what happened was, is I no longer paid any attention to the pattern or how many rows you're supposed to do of this color or that color. It truly became a pleasure to knit once I just went off the... Let go entirely. Let go entirely and just, follow, you know, like went in my basket and said, oh my God, I want to see what happens <coughs> when I take these two colors and put them together for a while. You know, and I didn't count how, you know, because it's got a, you know, it's like with everything else, there's a pattern. I don't like following pattern. I like to be doing it. You know, there's a part of my brain that just wants to take ownership of it. And so thank you, Andrea, for giving it. And she even said do that, you know, for those of you that don't want to follow this pattern, just go ahead and do what you want which I didn't really, I mean, I appreciated the permission. So anyway, so this one is very, this is wonderful. It doesn't, um, it, you know, there's a lot of pattern flaws and stuff in there, but it's just gorgeous. I love it. 
There should, there's definitely room for a designer to come up with small projects for leftovers. Oh, oh I think so too. I'm ready mm -hmm. to, because there's just, I want to have, anyway, so as soon as I got this off the needles, I couldn't stand it. I just had to, this one is truly, whoops, you're going to drop that. This is truly me taking the pattern and not follow, you know, just following the design. I don't mean that I didn't follow the design, but I just, it's a whole different colorway, which I don't know if you can, I mean, it, it's just, it, for me, my gray hair, um, I love it. I love yeah, having. You just type the little things into something. Well, yeah, and I know. We're, we're just saying. doing. We're, oh, yeah. well, it's just but so see, much better like that. Yeah. And it's just like this, mm. if you could imagine this in the fall too. Mm -hmm. And I love having this punch of yellow across here. Mm -hmm. Though yellow did kind of, I have to say, spin cycle ladies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was very hard for me because the first shawl that I did, yeah, the yellow was the pale yellow. And oh my God, I loved it. I absolutely, you know, it was like, it was a gift from the, the willow. Gods. The I willow. have that. Yeah, Pussy Willow is what it's mm -hmm. called. And I just, That's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. I mean, and, and I all color is gorgeous as far as I'm concerned. I agree. Thank you. I want to say that from you because it's my my dearest friend, Caitlin, will say, I don't like this color or that color. No, and I no, don't they're all, you about. know, and the thing is, it's like some people will point, I mean, like somebody was pointing out, oh, I would do everything but this. And I go like, oh, my God, you can't not have that because mm -hmm. that's the kind of the, quote, ugly color that, makes everything else go otherwise it's all too matchy matchy for me yeah but this is also the same this is pussy willow this color mm -hmm. but it's more neon-y mm -hmm. it's brighter it's you know it's like it's a you wouldn't even like if you had them i guess the way people do when they get dream state in the stores in the shops you have it and you can kind of look at the skein and go that one's more got more of what I want in it and yeah when you're in the shops but you know when you're doing it online you kind of go like okay I'm getting pussy willow and that's whatever they send me and thank you you know I'm glad you do this and I think I think artistically it's important let them do what they do well and the rest of us just deal with it and do what we do well and I think it's a great combination so I'm you know, I, I can't say enough about, but as part of my, oh, let's see, what else happened from, you know, so I'm going to stay, you know, rest and dream state. I have lots of leftovers. I dream about how I'm going to either design something myself, like take a sweater that's this weight and make it my own, you know, take somebody else's pattern and just do these yarns and some kind of a stitch pattern that I like but we'll see color I mean, work sweater you mean? color work a sweater color you know I'm I, well I'm still a novice yarn person oh, yeah. so. but you have a fabulous bust for I color <laughs> I mean you have a nice yeah that's true I, what I have a lot of canvas I have a lot of canvas yes we are just... celebrating ourselves <laughs> that's what lately has been a theme in our women's groups of all ages that get the right bra get the, you know all these things yes. to celebrate ourselves as we are so that's what we're doing <sighs> but one of the things we did in the month of june that was so exciting to me was we went to and jackie's gonna have to help me with the yarn what was the name Knit of it? zombie apocalypse or something Knit like zombie that. apocalypse it's a retreat a yarn retreat in and, rochester in rochester minnesota and when caitlin and jackie of caddy jacks were talking about going to rochester minnesota i light up because one of my very very favorite places to buy fabric and i haven't been there probably in I was just going to show how I was influenced oh, by those. Okay. Um, was Jenny's Fine Fabric at, in Rochester. I have, we just happened upon it about, oh, 20 years ago. And, you know, some of the fabrics I still, you know, I'm in that little, I can't show them, but, you know, <laughs> right. things that I have, they still little show. Little treasures. The little treasures still in show up in my stash and they still show up on my quilts from that time 20 years ago I think I went about three times and it was always because she's like it's a store that's designed for seamstresses apparel, apparel. and so the button wall 
I, got, I didn't get any buttons this time because I was just like overwhelmed. The button wall is the biggest button wall I've ever seen and it's just little containers full of buttons. And I just, I couldn't, you know, I'm looking at it going like, I don't even think I could pick a button out because there's just too many to look at. Well, I'm going to, when I go back, I will just go back to look at the buttons and not be so intimidated by the fact that there are so many of them. Um, and have a step stool. And have a step stool, right. So, because it's hard to reach them. But anyway, when I went to Jenny Fine, Jenny Spine. Can I interrupt you? Yes, you can. can say the people that work there are so lovely. So if you're making a garment, they will get you all the notions, the interfacing, yes. the zipper, oh. and then they'll bring over buttons that they think mm -hmm. will be nice, and it just feels so old-fashioned and full service. Oh, it is, and you know, we mm -hmm. both, Jackie got some fabric to make clothes with. I, I did get one fabric to make a blouse with that I wanted to get too soon. Um, but I didn't think I needed, you know, because I'd been kind of going like, I don't know that I need to be buying more fabric, but dirt. No, that's this a different one. This is a different know. stuff. Well, yeah. Um, but anyway, when I was there, these shawls, of course, were, you know, and the other one too. And I just, this is kind of like the, uh, I don't know if you can see the, what's happened to me, like with the, does it oh, show yeah. oh, the yeah. influence? Well, there's, put your shawl up. Put and let them see. There. Yeah. Yes. You know, like the, and then the other one. Yeah. I mean, it's all like, mm -hmm. it's all was like there. And there's just one thing after another. That's the first one we saw when we came in. And what it is, is it's just, it's cottons and silks and linens, but they're purchased with fat, you know, with making clothes in mind. So, She's, you know, this Jenny, uh, Jenny's fine. She's off. Um, What's this about? Those are, <laughs> they are very, very fine Italian shirting. Okay. So they're like a solid color. I have several of them. Okay, okay. I'm just showing them. Um, I mean, they're a solid color that just, you cannot, I mean, they're just drenched in color. Okay. And, you know, so I just love them. Okay. So I don't get a lot of any, you know, like a half a yard. Yeah, some like I got a yard of that because this. I don't know if it's showing up the color, but this is one of those that's kind of like the ugly fabric, that you know it's that kind of color that it's a neutral, it's very textured. Oh, be nice. And it mm -hmm. it'll fit into things that are just. I mean, it just makes everything pop. This is another one of those Italian shirtings and this gorgeous merlot and the blues yeah and the, the thing that was and then on that red because I have a red and black and white and kind of neutrally quilt this was oh, oh. yeah that I got like the la I went into just my I'd already purchased everything and I saw this in the sale bin and it's a Japanese fabric that they've had for a long time and it was a yard so it's only 16 inches or whatever 16 inches wide I believe this was the sweetest little thing, though. This is a gorgeous cotton. I mean, you can't, that's the other thing, is that the cottons are so fine. I mean, they had some, did you show them the, um, I showed them everything. The Liberty of London, you know, those are, that's this, the, this? yeah, that one was so pretty. Yes. This is just a, you know, so there's that, which is kind of the marbleized sort of thing. But anyway, so that, I have a quilt in, you know, that's getting in my mind that's going to be having a lot of those deep colors, but also um, the neutrals. This is what, um, this was another one that I got, it's another fine. And then I had sent away to Pearl Soho this summer. This was my birthday present to myself. You know, you think that, well, but turning 70 was a big, big deal. deal. So I got a little bit more of the, oh. can you show them how the, oh. that's the sparkly mineral linen wow. that they have, that I just love wow. that. I have other colors of that, wow. but I decided to get the, because the white on white. Oh, and is this sham, is this denim or is that It's kind of, it's just a heavy, it's just a beautiful textured, this is another linen. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this is a this gorgeous Japanese. Oh. De Nano near it's just oh. it's got like a subtle yeah I love this love this feels just gorgeous of course I do love this mm -hmm. this is what I love and this, this. Oh, oh I want that's this that's got what do you call this to see the, the texture embossed, yeah embossed um, I don't know I can't remember 
remember how much did you get of this i just have probably a yard of that I think. Oh. And then when I was doing it, I got this Liberty of London because it's the such a neutrally color that goes. It's the light of all those darks. The real me. This is what Sally has to put up with all the time, but she's gotten so used to it. I'll be like, I don't like this. Yeah, and she, she doesn't, doesn't care. I don't care because at all. To me, what you know, what I'm, you know, what I'm processing up here when I buy these things is I'm Delicious. thinking you have to keep. Lights, mediums, and darks in mind yes, in order to have an interesting, one. interesting composition. And so this, you know, Liberty of London it's a is a medium, but it's it's got you know it'll take those lights and they just bounce mm -hmm. off of it, and then it's got all the colors of those deep mm -hmm. lines so and blues and grays. Fabric. Oh my God, yes, it's just a gorgeous piece of fabric. So, um, so that's going on, and then you know, so then. Stash. That's the stash. I think, and this was your shirt. Oh, this is my shirt, because I have this little blouse that's a jersey blouse. And oh, you have a pattern? No, I have, I'm going to just use the, um, so it's got that kind of Japanese wave. Comment too. below if you have a pattern suggestion. Yes. I What I was planning to do was take apart the shirt that I just love or use it as a pattern, oh. but it would be, you know, I've seen patterns out there, but do that's comment below good. if you have one. Because this is just going to be a simple, you know, like a drop sleeve kind of shirt mm -hmm. that's loose and wear it with white pants or jeans or whatever, but it's, it feels good. Mm -hmm. It's that linen -y thing. So anyway, that's, and then there's, um, I don't know if I can find that tape that's, I think it's right underneath that. Do you see it in there? That's, that's blue. Oh, this. And then oh, they I had this. oh they had the most gorgeous um, tapes and ribbons and I'm just just drawn to this one because I like to add these to quilts. You see the texture in that? It's just oh beautiful. And it would be fabulous if you're steeping a cardigan like I am. Mm -hmm. So I want so that anyway, too. so that's so it was fun. We had a wonderful day. The the knitters did their you know they I just had fun touring the market with Elizabeth. We, we went with Caitlin and Jackie, Caddy Jacks, and then Elizabeth Wellenstein, who had her birthday the day before that, I believe, so it was kind of a birthday trip for her, too. And she's a, an incredible knitter and a really good friend, so she took me as kind of guided me through the, the knitting market, and I love that. So, um, then you know what I'm so I'm trying to think if there was any other birthday celebrations I mean we had you know it was just lovely so back to the quilting I put together this is a work in progress because I do have another quilt that I can show I'll show you the quilts that are finished in just a minute anyway this was just to have you know I, the the way I design a quilt when I call it my play quilt my stash you know just this isn't um, this wasn't something I've been ruminating about a lot of that's the quilt that I have all that fabric for and this um, I don't think you can get it but for my birthday the, the lion may go in there too you know the oh. the lion from the towel but okay. um, Anyway, that's what's up there going, like how much white am I putting in that? Because I have a lot of, when I look up at my fabrics up there, I have like tubs and tubs and tubs of natural, uh, mostly white fabrics that I want to combine with those dark, deep, rich colors. Anyway, for my birthday, I got, you know, from JJ and Holly, I got a dish towel, and I think they said to the my daughter something about you can never have too many dish towels. Well, I've already used this in this quilt that I'm going to show you, but this guy just is calling to be part of my quilt. He is just this lovely roaring um, mm -hmm. lion. So I think that's going to incorporate somehow into a quilt, you know. So because I don't do that many dishes by hand and I wouldn't, I would feel terrible using that. And I pulled that off of, I don't know if we've said it before, but she, the wall that is not the wall you can see, there's a big white felt wall and she can just put the fabric design. on it and mm -hmm. pin to the wall. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, 
I don't it's know, kind of eight where I put feet ideas, by yeah. six feet or something yeah. like that? Yeah, I know. I just, that's how I design a quilt is I just put it up there and get distance. A lot of quilters yeah, do that. Well, and, oh, well, I, yeah. not, some knitters don't know about No, they that. probably don't know about Cause that. Because you visually get to stand away from it. Yeah, because you really, you knew. I mean, it's kind of like you're making, well, you're making a painting. It's like the, the quilt, well, I'm not going to talk about the quilt behind me just yet, but that's how that was designed. Anyway, so my process is that when I've been, you know, like sometimes I'll come up in my sewing room and I'll just grab a little stash of fabric and put them together and, you know, and, and so I have you know, maybe like six little log cabin blocks and, you know, just putts with something else. And so they start to add up. And then what I like to do is I like to take them and just see what happens. Well, I put them up on the design wall and s start to just put them together. This particular quilt that I'm going to show you. Why don't you show them? Because okay. I need to see to be able to okay. pay attention. Just give us a look quick, and then you can talk more. Okay. So you so, mean like this would be a little block over here yeah, that's that you just, put together? And like this is a leftover kind of from my father's dragon quilt. And, and we hold it up over your face for a second, just still. And you've decided that's up, or is that just that's up happens because to be? The reason happening. that I have it like that is because the dark is on the bottom and the dark is the base. Okay. So it holds more weight. Okay. That's All right. why I All do right. that. And then while you're talking, I'm just going to show them a closer view. Okay. So if you remember from my last podcast, I was doing a lot of work with Grandma Johnson's quilt. And you can go back and watch those if you hadn't. And I started using up her Dresden plates, the, the leftover pieces, and I made cut circles out of them. And I, I made quite a few quilts with just the circles and then the rough edge applique them onto fabric. And so I have this other quilt that I don't have a lot of it left, but it's my Aunt Bess's, who was in that same era. It that's... would be a 1930s quilt. And her quilt was a gigantic diamond quilt you know, kind of like you could use those diamonds to make a Lone Star pattern. That, you know, they were very popular in the 30s. Well, they were very popular in the 70s, too. But anyway, I had, I liked what happened making the circles for Grandma Johnson's quilt, and I was just having fun with circles. So I decided to cut up what some of the leftover blocks that I had with Grandma, or with Aunt Bess's quilt, and use them. I can be a holder. Yeah use them for this piece so you know you can see how the, the little these are the vintage ones some of the circles are just my own things that I decided you know like these were log cabin little plate plate log cabins just to play with color and I decided to make those circles you know they would be the same as these blocks but I made them into circles and then this white behind it is the toweling from the lion um, because I wanted to keep a lot of white space in there. The diamonds, these are left over from another quilt that I've shown you, the Aunt Bess's quilt that I have on my bed. These are some of those diamond pieces because I just love those. So those are those vintage fabric. Can I They're, come close again? Just yeah. So it comes out very colorful. It's only halfway there now because the quilting... I'll use a lot of different colored threads, a lot of different kind of quilting. Um, I'm going to embellish a lot of, you know, with quilting a little heavier, maybe variegated threads, maybe some pearl cottons, I'm not sure. But anyway, there will be a lot more sculpturing that goes on with that quilt. So then when it gets done, it has a lot more. And this is the style that some people would call a mess or something like that, right? They wouldn't. Yeah, but they I mean, like, why are you doing it? But this is just for play. These are simply just a, they're like creative just, doodles. They just free sure. up. They don't, you know, I don't take them too seriously. I just make them. Right. They're something that I can And sit. that's so important, yeah. right? I have to have that because if everything was a big deal. Right. You know, I don't think I'd get anything done at all because the quilt that I've got coming up is a little bit more thought, you know. Right. You may, you may, I mean, it's funny, like in a future podcast and I'm showing you what I made with all that, you may look at it and go like, 
well. I don't see that she really did anything that much different, but believe me, oh, I do. I it's the thought process. Who knows? It goes like that. But, did you ever show the Japanese quilt down, you know, the one with all the... No, because it's just, we'll have to do that in another yeah. one. That's just, I just mean that's an example of one that it's very thought very out. Very thought out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. So, um, so you kind of use the play ones into yeah. disperse. Well, and the other ones come, they... What happens is, is when I'm going to do the next series of quilts, it usually ends up being a series because I'll start to cut that fabric up. I'll start to place it together in different shapes and only parts of it will get used. Mm -hmm. So it becomes fodder for a whole group of quilts mm -hmm. because it's, I mean, it's a ton of fabric. And then I'll, you know, what usually what ends up happening is I'll get part of it in there and I'll go like, oh God, I need something light. And so then I'll dig into, you know, I'll open my cupboard down here and start pulling out things that I'd forgotten about. And so they're, they build. That's mm -hmm. just a start. That's just kind of like a, oh, you know, there. It's a mood. And so that mood is based on your spin cycle. On my spin cycle. That's where that came from. You know, like other times, other quilts I make come from things like this. You know, and my little group of stones. You know that Jackie had put on a picture. Oh. You know, so you see. So you see these. I mean, if you could look at them. Up close, they've got fossils in them. Oh, they're just, the they look like little flowers. They're just, you know, oh my god, they're just beautiful. So that would inspire white on white. It does look good, I can see it. It, okay. it would inspire when I look up at my top shelf up there, all the neutral, you know, there's pinks, uh -huh. there's beiges, there's it would right. just get me going right. on like something. Yeah, yeah, it's right. just gorgeous. So I had in my Instagram, in my Instagram feed, that's, I'm loving Instagram, is Sally Journey Quilts. And if you haven't checked that out. And Journey is J-E-R-N-E-Y. Right. Sally Journey Quilts, all one thing. Right. Um, that's where I will post, you know, like I've done several postings of the process. This quilt behind me is called Heron's Quilt. And... It has got this behind it. Oh, yeah, we showed it on the Caddy Jacks podcast. Yeah, you showed it on Caddy Jacks. And this is a Liberty of London kind of a seascape, anemones and or amoebas and all these blobby shapes with little fish coming through it. It's very much like the kinds of things Heron and I used to do. And that I can actually show. Oh, yeah, the one in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of, that was... Um, well, I got the fabric for the back first, and it was kind of like, that has to be on the back of... And then that, I would say, to really understand this quilt is, yeah, that's one of our... This doodles. is how they would doodle together, Grandma and yeah, Aaron. Yeah, it was so much fun. And I'm, you know, thinking he was like seven, eight, something like that. Yeah. I, you know, I had just gotten a whole bunch of markers and this gorgeous paper, and... I would start doodling, and then he'd go, oh, can I help you with that? Yeah. And then he would start coloring in, and he'd doodle, and he's got our names on there, and yeah. he was writing so in cursive. And, she means. Yeah. So you can't really are. see the fabric very well. But. Yeah, but it's it's there, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so this, this quilt is made... I didn't actually start out to make it as Heron's quilt, but as I was making it, it, the, one of the primary things that started this was a stack of Carhartt pants that he had outgrown that were not going to fit his brother because they're too short. You know, his brother is tall and skinny, and they would just not make it. So I had them on the chair in my sewing room getting ready to bag up for St. Vinny's. And, and I looked at it, and I you know, could see that because Carhartt's, you can see this right here. It's this triple, triple, that's quadruple, it's not even triple, it's four. It's the seams are done so, you know, they're rough and tough, tough he-man kind of pants, and it's just what he lives in for fishing and stuff. But anyway, they had to, 
I looked at those and I'm going like, oh my God, I love the way the, the, seams. the seams play. And the, you know, there's parts up here where they're, I don't know if you can see, this is another seam and this is a rough seam. There's, there's uh, rips and denims up there. And, you know, so they're the stack of his clothes that were getting ready to go off. And I just decided, you know, I used to, when he was a little boy, I would take his clothes and I would keep them for my, you know, sewing. And I just decided to, to keep those, you know, I've got some up in my, you know. Well, and you have, you did that with dads too. Yeah, yeah of course I did. Yeah. yeah. But we've already showed him oh, that clothes. So we don't need to, okay. yeah. But anyway, so a lot of this is his clothes. Plus it's a lot of what I had talked about, the drop cloth with the, you know, the old painter's drop cloth with years of paint splotches all over the place on the quilt. That's what this is. And it goes up. There's more, you know, if you want to know more about this quilt, follow me on Instagram. And I've got a whole series of pictures that I've done and the stories of what I was doing with oh, that. Nice. Um, yeah, because it was, it's a very simple quilt. Um, that's what, well, that was the other thing that, this is what I really was getting to that I wanted to address now. Um, I have one more quilt that's, I have a lot of quilts. This is another one I haven't shown you yet. It was... Let's hold it still for a minute. Okay. Oh, that's so beautiful. See, it's kind of, this was a spring quilt. It's mm. called Dreaming Spring. Mm, I and love it, it Mom. It has just those spring colors and I'm the show snow. Them, like, and the, the thread even. Look at the red thread in there. It has a beautiful Liberty of London with sailboats and stuff on the back of it. I'll and, show that. You know, just, it's, you know, just, it's got a lot of detail, a lot of love, a lot of paying attention to, you know, when I make these, they're just, you know, I go off into... Oh, I don't know. So I love beautiful. doing it. I mean, part of the paint drop cloth that's in there has this beautiful pink and gold, and it's very gloppy, um, the texture of it. Mm -hmm. So I've really been enjoying right here. Here's it. Here's a know, gloppy still have, one. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's cool. I love that fabric. But anyway, so this is one that I made. But to tell you, you know, that, and how to get this out in my journey, I'm not a businesswoman. We've discussed, you know, I have gone <laughs> back and forth on this consider myself an artist. I've had gallery shows in my house. I've had gallery shows at Madison Chocolate. I have shared my quilts with many people in Madison and many, of, I mean, many, many, many of my mm -hmm. quilts are out in homes. I, mm -hmm. People still come to me and say, oh, I love this quilt. They're pictured on their walls. They're, mm -hmm. you know, it just, it fills me. They're so exciting. And when I come to this decision, which I've made now through the Instagram community, through the knitting community, through the like stand up and count and be, be, you know, be who you are, blossom and grow. And so I am opening an Etsy shop. I've got it open. I just don't have it open for business yet. I'm in the process of putting things in there. And by July 15th, which is a little over a week, about a week, I'm going to have it open for business. And when I, I just don't even like the word business, but what I'm doing is... Open for the universe. Open for the universe. And I'm just going to put them out there. I'm putting them out there um, for people to have... Access. Access to it, you know, because there is, you know, what I've learned um, myself, and I don't, you know, I'm not going to go off camera. I have... Found that there's some, you know, like Melissa Jenkins, our beautiful earring. You know, you can see her on Instagram, and and uh, she, I think she sells through her own shop, but I know she has Etsy shop too, and she makes the most beautiful jewelry. And yeah. I think, you know, so and so she has it on there, and then that way people can go and go. I really want to have those beautiful earrings. I don't want to have to go to the you know department store and get the I want to be able to have the real thing that artist thing and so that's what I'm going to do with my quilts I've been following this beautiful ceramic artist in in Australia and I keep getting her little um you know you can get a piece from my um her name is you know it's Erin's Window and I love her work and she has it on Etsy and it's like 
you know, she shows on Instagram and then she says, I'm opening this up and putting it in my Etsy. Now, all of you that this is, you know, you know like big deal, we know about this. But for me, age 70, this is like, yeah, this is one of Erin Window's wall pieces. They're gorgeous. I mean, they're, it's dream quality. I'm not trying to be off topic. It's dream quality. I mean, she has like her visions. Her art is simple, and yet you can't imagine. I mean, it, it just has so much spirit in it, and it has symbols and you know that kind of thing. I love as them. does your art. Yes, so does you want to so be part of the conversation. I want to be part of the conversation. Thanks, Jackie. So I'm going to put these things out there. They're going to be available. One? This one will Do be you have there. A few more. That are I have a few them. more. I'm going to put. Just show some of them. This one is going to, you know, this is so big, I don't know how well, to... you could just open it once at least. Okay, open it. This is kind of a curio shop is what I call oh, this. so beautiful. And it is... Um, oh my goodness. Oh. And honestly, the reason why I didn't want to do Etsy and why I've struggled I think with I'm going to fold it and show it folded. Why I've struggled with Etsy is because I go, I don't think that the fabrics show up the same, you know, I'm a perfectionist and I'm worried that if you just go to Etsy, you're not going to know what these things really are in person. But you know, how honestly, they feel. Yeah. yeah, how they feel, the hand quilting, all that goes into them. Right. But I'm just going to say right. universe. Right. You know, I mean, anybody that knows, those are all Liberty of London fabrics. You know how incredible they feel. Um, so this is the real deal. This is my art I'm going to share with the world, and I'm putting it out there. So, you know, it is. Yeah, yay, so, Sally. You know, so there it goes. So I'm just going to put them there, and, you know. I'm, well, show us a few more because this is sort of like a, you know. Well, these are just, you know, this well, is. of course. Like, I yeah. mean, this is just I mean, like, nice. this is just a nice little, I love the background. This is just a little, you know, there's so many people that have bought my quilts for their children's rooms, for instance, you know, bright colors, and the, the kids will come and go, oh, Stroke I want of that green. one, you know, and so they're, um, and this one's got a little bit of our doodle art on it, and, you know, they're just uh, little pieces of, you know, and I could go on and on. I, this one is like these other two, oh. These are like, so these are our Door beautiful. County influence quilts. This is the beach, beach. and the sand and the oh my water gosh. and, you know, and all that. And then this one is a Door County, um, more of the oh, marinas. Yeah. You sharing this one. is the marinas, yes. The colors and the marinas where they're, you know, you got a lot of crispy white fences wow. and boats and all that. So, I mean, there, I get a stack of these things and I just... I'm going to do it. They'll be there. They're available. She's sharing them with to you. Share, share them with you. And, you know, let me know what you're thinking. If you have comments, I would love to get your comments. And I'm, My comment is, bravo, Sally. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> thank you, because, you know, they've been wanting me to do this for a long time, and I'm just going like, you know, because I'm so wanting to share actually what they look like and, you know, the... The picture, you know, but it's just oh, kind of. Oh, I like, find it a joy to to be able to buy other artists, other I do too. people's work. And so every time you get them, nothing but joy. And it's the like, thing is, it's like Boku. Is it mm -hmm. Boku in Canada? Mm -hmm. I've ordered her bags, and I've never been disappointed. Never, because they come, and the things that come to you, they're always so much better than they are on the internet. You mm -hmm. know, they're just there's True. like this. You know, once you touch it and know yeah. that someone has actually done, taken the time with their hands and made it. We have such a maker's, you know, revival and mm -hmm. sense of, you know, what's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so it, I'm just excited about that. So that Great. Would be my... And anyway, so, you know, more knitting, happy knitting, happy quilting. Um, I didn't get into too much of the how-tos on quilting. I love, mm -hmm. I could... Mm -hmm. Okay, I would love to, <laughs> yeah, I want to put my chest out here. <laughs> I love this. Anyway, thank you, Jackie. So I'm excited about 70 and where it's going from here. It has been just a marvelous, you know, and happy birthday to my brother. I turned it over to him because July is his birthday. He turned 75. Oh, and then I get August. 
And Jackie gets August. I mean, the rest of you are welcome to have your turn at birthdays. <laughs> but as far as our family goes, yeah. I've never taken a birthday whole month, but I did this year. So. Yay, good for yeah, you. So it was well, good. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. And it's just been a joy. I have appreciated. I have gotten so much love, so many comments. So I, I have just loved this community because... We are all so close, and there are so many connections, and, and I'm following Jackie. Jackie is making friends with people in New Jersey, you know, who come to visit her in Madison, you know, Chelsea Knits, and it's just, it's exciting. It's like we're a big, you know, Christy Knits, or Christy Glass was at our house this spring, and, you know, so the, in the world of creative people, it's a small world, so, you know, let's, let's just keep making. And it's a big world that we make small through making. Through people and, you know, yeah. just all mm -hmm. different kinds of, you know, people and mm -hmm. things and, you know, just the whole uh, the whole creative world out there. So, mm -hmm. well, anyway. thank you for spending time with us today. And thank you and bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Hello. <sighs> Another podcast. Podcast number four for Sally Journey Quilts. And it is July. Just a second. 